Vandy has taken the first two games. 16th ranked South Carolina trying to get on the board in this top 20 series. Swing and a miss, strike three. Thomas Schultz adds another to the Vanderbilt strikeout count on the weekend. These games are really close. Swing and a miss, strike three. Vanderbilt's got 35 strikeouts in the series. Gotta stay on it, we're gonna get a good barrel. Bradfield works a leadoff walk. Swing and a miss. That's a live ball, Bradfield gets second. And Young is out. He hadn't needed many runs. Bradfield's going for third. Safe. And Keegan hits this one to short. Khalil coming home. Bradfield scores. One nothing Commodores as Keegan gets the run in and Bradfield manufactured it. That yeah, was a tough ball for Bradfield to read. If you look, he thought it was a line drive and stayed down. It got in on the hands of Keegan, so that's why he was not able to get a good start on it. But catches Thomas Schultz for the first time this year. And he rips this one to left. First college dinger for CJ Rodriguez. Rodriguez is sitting on that breaking ball too. Kind of done the scouting report, knew sometimes he likes to whip it in there for a get me over strike. And he said, I'll sit right on it and take it out over the monster. And take a look at the swing. Elevated, right on time with it. And what a great spot for that first home run. Gets the high five from Tim Corbin. About took Tim Corbin's hand off, I was pretty <laughs> excited. Line up over as you get down the bottom. Bosnick strikes out Nolan, but Vandy gets three. Called strike three. Third strikeout for Schultz. He's gone five up, five down. These guys have done a good job of that so far. Called strike three with the fastball. Six straight outs for Thomas Schultz. Called strike three. Backdoor breaker from Julian Bosnick. But that one out. <laughs> Called strike three. Two strikeouts and a weak ground out for a one, two, three second. Slow chopper. Colwick waits and gets the out. Thomas Schultz perfect. His first trip through the South Carolina order. And Young bunts this one and the first base side's wide open. There's your slump buster, perhaps, for Carter Young. Ground ball, base hit. Keegan's got his first hit back. Good for him to shake the, the end of the year. Lofts this one into center for an RBI single. Four nothing Commodores and three RBIs for CJ Rodriguez. Nolan strikes out on three pitches and Bosnick's out of the inning. Shane, take us back to, you know, when you were getting recruited, you know, where else were you looking and kind of what made you to decide on Vandy as we see an absolute bomb <laughs> hit by well, South Carolina. I was Carolina. looking at, you know, Commodore Nation, Memorial Magic. Brady Allen breaks up the perfect game with a line drive homer. Young boys to understand how to value and respect women and girls, so we end violence against women. Braylon Wimmer to center. Back to back jacks for South Carolina. Thomas Schultz perfect the first time through. And now Allen and Wimmer go yard to make it 4 2. Yeah, I think we knew we were going to start to see some big time swings from these guys. The second time through, another elevated curveball. And the wind is not blowing in, so those balls are flying out of here. The importance of, of really being a master of your craft, and that's something that he did, uh, not only on the college level, but in the pros as well. Um, and then, you know, for me, it was just, oh, I think he's done a phenomenal job. Eister flies this one to center. 
Enrique Bradfield makes the catch. Shane Foster, always great to talk to you. Can't wait to see you again soon. Great to talk to you. Most of the lineup. Yeah! Called strike three. Sixth strikeout for Julian Bosnick. This seemed to work out for South Carolina so far. I mean, always have a fantastic program. And Gonzalez smokes this one to right center. Eister going back, and it's off the wall. Davis gets the wave home. And scores. RBI triple for Jason Gonzalez. We've seen him lead the yard multiple times opposite field. It's a nice fastball on the outside corner and a nice swing. Just keeps carrying, carrying. 5-2 ball game. As Bradfield rips this one out to center, we'll see if it's deep enough with Allen making the catch. Gonzalez coming home, and now he's going back. Take a look here. I thought the ball was deep enough. It did look like Gonzalez potentially thought that the ball was going to be down and was, it was just getting worth. See if this stays fair for Young. Josiah Seitler fights the sun and makes the catch. Vandy gets a fifth run, but leaves a man at third who was there with one out. And our Alone lines this one into right field. He didn't play Wednesday or Friday. Nobody got a hit yesterday. But that's a good liner for him today. Ball four. Burgess is aboard and back-to-back -back base runners start the Carolina fifth. And it will see. Ball four. Wow. Hard grounder. Colwick to second for one. Double play. Vanderbilt trades a run for a couple of outs and it's 5-3. The huge. A bunt. Gonzalez has to go to first. 5-4. Braylon Wimmer with the two out squeeze. Had the runner on third, but put it in a nice spot. Kind of caught Vandy sleeping. Off the screws. Gonzalez again gets the third out. South Carolina comes up with a pair after loading the bases with nobody out. And Swing and a miss, strike three. Three pitch strikeout for Brett Carey. Yeah. Called strike three. Fastball on the inside edge. Carey. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ethan Smith strikes out Wes Clark. And the national home run leader is 0 for 8 this weekend. Yeah, fastball up in the zone, elevated, and Clark. 1 and 2 on Eister. Swing and a miss, strike three. Quick work for Ethan Smith, and these two relievers are heating up. Called strike three. Brett Carey locks up Parker Nolan. Called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and four of the last five for Brett. Can the zone a little bit further out every time and got him to do it. Called strike three, sets Malone down. Swing and a miss, strike three. Not quite at Mo Rivera's level yet, <laughs> but a very good cutter down and away. Yeah, effective pitch right there in the outside corner. Again, just that's where he wanted it. Gotten a lot of punch outs on that outside corner. Those right handers just, they can't even. I think home plate umpire Fred Cannon is given a warning to the South Carolina dugout. Maybe a little extra chirping. Mark Kingston's out of the dugout. We'll see if this was just a warning or maybe more. Mark Kingston is hot. You can hear him. He's saying, I talk to my team. You talk to me. I'll talk to my team. You can definitely hear everything that Coach Kingston's saying. Thomas Farr, his ace, gave him the thumbs up, and he got ejected. 
The South Carolina dugout's fired up, and Mark Kingston's going to go sit on the bus. They can't play until Mark Kingston is gone. Third base umpire Daniel Crick stopped the game. Kingston headed down the right field line to the South Carolina bullpen. Tim Corbin, that was one of the more stressful teams he ever coached, but one of the, the more fun ones towards the end. Brady Allen lines one to the left field corner for a leadoff double. Wimmer bunts for the second straight A.B. This will be at least a sacrifice out at first. First base coach Trip Couch wants a review. We are past the point of challenges, but Jeremy Dupree will oblige as the umpires gather. And we'll take a look here. This is probably the best view. That's a lot closer than I thought. Safe! Call overturn for South Carolina. Hit him. They're loaded with nobody out for Wes Clark. Hitting the air to right. The tying run, Allen tags at third as Thomas comes in. Allen headed home. Throw late. Game tying sack fly for Wes Clark. Brings the game cocks even. And he built. Line drive, base hit. Wimmer stops at third and they are reloaded for Andrew Eister. Line drive to center. Bradfield going back and he makes the catch. Great play as South Carolina takes the lead. Andrew Eister scores Braylon Wimmer in the Gamecocks lead for the first time this series. Yeah. Great piece of hitting by Eister. And look at the catch by the young freshman Bradfield. South Carolina able to get the run, but. Called strike three. Malone doesn't like the call, but South Carolina accomplishes their mission. Two in that South Carolina offense. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brad Carey has his sixth strikeout college career. Colwick off the end of the bat. Wimmer doesn't get the out. Infield single for Tate Colwick ends the streak of 12 straight outs. It's Brett Carey. Swing and a miss. Throw down to second. Colwick steals the base with two outs. We may have batter's interference. The runner's out. Carolina's out of the inning. Home plate umpire Fred Cannon made the call against C.J. Rodriguez. We are through eight as Tim Corbin talks with Fred Cannon. South Carolina still ahead as Coach Corbin disputes the call. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it looked like he stepped right over the plate. That's that. That's potentially three for Carolina. Easily. Murphy hits Khalil for a one-out base runner. It's Brett Carey out of the Carolina bullpen. Runner going on the 2-1. Safe at second. Line drive up the middle, base hit. Khalil stops at third and Carolina's in business. Brady Allen, the rally starter all game long. Series finale stays in Carolina's favor. This will not get the run in. Colwick in foul ground makes the catch. Tay Colwick sticks with it for a massive second out. Yep. Swing and a miss. Murphy fooled him up high. To do that. Strike three. Brett Carey wins the eight pitch battle. He bunts this one with the third baseman back. Tying run aboard. Third bunt hit of the year for Isaiah Thomas. Runner going, strike three as Thomas gets to second. But Davis is a big second out. Swing and a miss, strike three. The Gamecocks take the finale and salvage the series 6-5.